Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to be doing these chrome nails today. I'm using the pigments from Charlie's Nail Art. I've sculpted these nails in clear from Blue Sky. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to paint them black. I've got um, a new down on two of the nails because I'm going to do nail beds and then the others are going to be completely black so that the pigments can go right on top. So now I've got the initial shape down for the nail bed, I'm just going in with the bottle brush and filling in that tip. And I'm going to do two of the nails completely covered in the black and then two are nail beds. wasn't happy with that nail bed so swiped it off so I could put it down again. don't usually do stilettos on myself, I just fancy the change for this design. So once I've got those on, I'm going to cure them in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm just going to give these a top coat so that I can go in with the pigment. So those have all had a top coat and I am going in with the different pigments. The first one I'm using is the blue. Now I don't actually know what I did wrong with this because it's a no wipe top coat. I I just it wasn't it wasn't working as well as it should have. I don't know what I did wrong. But um You'll see in a second when I come to. It doesn't quite, it doesn't quite stick in as well as it should be. So I don't know whether maybe I'd have been better just doing it straight onto the black without top coating. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know what I did. I don't know if I cured it too long. I don't know what I did wrong. But I definitely did something wrong. Super cute pigments though. See, it, it virtually wipes straight off. So, I wasn't... I don't know. I just don't know what I did wrong. So I'm going over with the um, matte top coat so that I can create the embossed look. I'm just having another go with this silver nail, this silver pigment. I really, really didn't know what I was, what, what had happened. You can see the blue with the matte top coat on. It's a very subtle colour. it was the top coat I was using I usually use the blue sky new white top coat and I used the Kiki London one so whether it was whether it was the different top coat maybe I don't know maybe I cured it in a lamp too long and it was like decided it didn't want to stay sort of thing I don't know I mean it is very subtle and when you put the mat on, it does sort of stand out. So. So I'm just doing some squiggly lines on this nail, trying to um, create a sort of, is it fiddly? Again, I'm just going in and doing some squiggly lines on this nail. Some leaves, foliage. So this one I'm doing the sort of 
broken French that we're seeing around. I really, I really do like these sort of matte chrome nails. They look sort of um, weathered and elegant. Definitely don't know what I was doing wrong today with this chrome. It just wasn't playing at all. But I get it on as best I can. Making sure that I've still got grooves where the um swells are because I think at this point I thought maybe maybe because it's been in the lamp a couple of times it won't stick as well so I think that was why I was going over it and now I'm going over with the blue chrome pigment rubbing that into those leaves. That did stick a lot better that time. So I think maybe it's the curing time that I was getting wrong initially. Because it did seem to go on a lot better on this nail. So now I'm just going over this sort of broken French. And then I'll go over that with the silver pigment. So I'm going to go in and add some crystals. I've picked out a few different ones. These bluey ones are from my SNNF, my same name nail friend Annie, over on Nail Force One. So check out her channel. She sent me these in a friend mail recently. So they just went perfect with the chrome silver sort of the blues and that. They just really fit in with the design, so using those. Those little silver ones look like little eyes, they're awesome, I love them. And then on the pinky, I think I'm going to do a larger cluster. Of
so there we go those are what we've got so far now I'm going to do the form now on the form I decided to go in with this Credio cat eye gel polish in silver I've had silver cat eyes that don't move very much and I've been a bit disappointed but these ones are really good. So cure that for 60 seconds. Here we are. Beautiful effect. You can just look at this all day. Okie doke. So I'm going to put some builder gel down because I want to use one of these um, little metal frames that I got from Sheen a little while ago. Just going around the edges of that so that it's nice and flush to the nail. And I'm going in the centre and I'm building up a dome in the centre of the, the um, frame. Just making sure that it's all sealed around the edges as well because they're quite raised, those frames. Just putting a few crystals around the corner of the frame. I have matted the form and left the center shiny and these are the nails just gonna finish off with these silver caviar beads and rolling them in top coat and then I'll use the long brush to place them on the design so thanks for watching this video um please remember to like hit that subscribe if you've not already i really appreciate every every little sort of bit of love you all give me so thank you anyone who's coming back and anyone who's new thank you for joining me this is the finished design this is the form these are the four fingers thanks for watching guys mm -hmm.